Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. So in this video, I'm introducing you to Milk Dud, the blacksmith shop cat. Ain't that right? Yeah. So originally Milk Dud was a house cat, but then he caught fleas. So uh, we decided to make him a shop cat. We hadn't had an indoor pet in about 11 years. And then we spent about $500 getting rid of fleas. So uh, I decided that it would be better to take and put him in the shop where it doesn't matter if there's fleas out here or not. Ain't that right, buddy? Ain't that right? Yeah. And by the way, if you're concerned, we did get his flea problem taken care of. He doesn't have fleas anymore. But he has found a nice place here in the shop. And uh, you'll be seeing him make guest appearances if you haven't already in a whole bunch of different videos. Huh. Ain't that right? Yeah. You big love bug, ain't you? Yeah. As you can tell, he's got a pretty good he's got a pretty good life here, a pretty good pad. He eats about two to three cups of food every day. He gets plenty of water. And he I got a little space heater over here. I don't know if you guys can see that. But that's why he likes that's why he likes this little bed pan here. I made him out of an old shop coat and uh, leather, but that heater is there to take and keep any cold off so you can get out of the weather and, and stay nice and warm. So on that note, if you guys have outdoor pets, um, you know, and yes, contrary to what PETA may tell you, yes, it's okay to have an outdoor pet, have an outdoor dog, things like that. They don't have to always live inside with you. Uh, you know, that's <laughs> mankind's been living with and without pets inside for a long, long time. We've got a kinship with animals. But uh, as you can see, he likes his head scratched quite a bit, don't you? Don't you? Yeah. So, but yeah, I'd like to remind you all, if you do have pets, you know, if you're going to have them outside, provide them a place to go. Uh, too often times do we forget, you know, you kick out the random cat uh, out of your house. Maybe you can't take care of them anymore. And the common thing is you say, well, they're a wild animal. Just put them outside and they'll survive. Uh, but that's really not the case. You know, uh, they still need food. Domesticated pets still need food and things like that. Um, you know, I am not, uh, I am not like, a, I don't know what you call them, animal rights activists or anything like that. I believe it's just our job. I believe it's a God-given job of ours to take care of our animals' friends out here and let them bless our lives. I think that's what they're here for. Ain't that right? No, no. Yeah. Now, fun fact, I was not originally a cat person. In fact, I hated cats. And then this little guy, I got him for the girls and uh, got him for the kids. And this little love bug made my day. So, changed my heart. Now I love cats. They're, they're pretty cool creatures. So, anyways, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching me pet my cat <laughs> in this video. If you stick around this long, uh, you need to reassess your priorities in life and probably go to work um, or uh, probably get a job or something like that. <laughs> You're watching a man pet his cat, a man and his cat. So anyways, that's it for this video. Thank you all for watching. Uh, say hi to Milk Dud in the comment section. He won't read them, but I will. And we'll catch you all in the next one. Thanks for watching. Ain't that right? You want to say bye? No? Just want to be scratched some more? Yeah? That's it? Okay. I'll scratch you some more. <laughs>